What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Rock Guitar School. So, we got some cool Wolfgang Van Halen news. It's been a little while since I've covered Wolfie, and I thought this was pretty cool. You know, Wolfgang has been doing some really cool stuff lately. You know, he's got a new album. He's got a new guitar coming in, uh, you know, that's been in the works for a while now. It's going to be coming out probably soon. So, here it is. I, uh, this was, I did not see this coming. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody saw this coming because... This doesn't seem at all what he would be involved with, but he is, and in, he's involved with the Barbie movie. And if you've seen any of the images, or I don't think I haven't come across any actual video. Maybe the trailer is out. I haven't seen it, but you know some of the pictures. It looks actually pretty cool. Uh, never a Barbie, you know. Didn't really wasn't into that. <laughs> More of a He-Man guy back in the day, but uh, you know, I always thought it was kind of cool, you know, uh, you know the whole thing, and it was definitely had a big following. So this this movie should be pretty popular. So here it is. So this is on his uh, Instagram page. So he goes, "Here's some news." Attended the Barbie movie premiere last night uh, with his girlfriend. Uh, so he's on the so basically saying because I'm on the score soundtrack. Honored for the opportunity to contribute some guitar playing. Check out the movie. If anyone is curious about specifics, I have a lot of textural stuff throughout the film. With two major spots where I do some soloing. Now that's really cool. Uh, you know, Wolf is a heck of a solo guitar player. You know, he has a new song on his new album where very reminiscent of his dad you know he pointed it out himself that he's basically using his old uh, you know the Frankenstein guitar and his dad's old gear so that's pretty interesting he goes on to say one one in particular is pretty cool because it's the big song that Ryan Gosling sings that and Slash plays on it as well so that's even more interesting there's a specific moment in the song that's only in the movie where I've got this fun solo with some tapping and stuff. Such a cool opportunity, honored to be a part of it. So, you know, again, taking after his dad, doing some tapping. You know, this is just great for, for guitar, you know, that he, he is doing this sort of stuff. He goes on to say his buddy hit him up earlier this year, needing uh, a mammoth to guitar sound. So that's, you know, that's what he does. You know, he's got the EVH gear amplifiers the wolfgang guitars and you know he's the guy so some pictures here of the premiere but i'm really looking forward to this you know i again unexpected what do you guys think do you are you excited are you gonna go see the uh oh well look at this so michael anthony who who was with Van Halen, you know, the Van Michael Anthony Van Halen guy. Uh, you know, he, he's making a comment here. So, ha, 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 I wasn't planning on seeing this movie, but now I got to go check it out. Way to go, Wolf. You know, I always see him in the comments, too, and it's just great. Uh, of course, you've got Valerie Bertinelli chiming in here as well. So, he's got a ton of support. This is going to be awesome. Like I said, I... Uh, I had seen some images of this movie and actually was planning on going to see this movie. And then with him playing on it, I'm absolutely going to go see this movie now. I'll probably be there the first night to go check it out. And might be on here as well to, to give you guys a review of what I think about how it sounds. I'm expecting it's going to sound great. I mean, in the spirit of Eddie Van Halen... You know, like just keeping the guitar, keeping rock guitar alive. That's really what it's what what I believe it's about. You know, Wolfgang has proved himself to be a phenomenal guitar player, really taking on his father's legacy. Nobody can replace Eddie Van Halen, you know, and that's really the way it is. But he's carrying on the legacy with his own stuff, with the EVH gear brand. He was Eddie was always doing stuff like that, you know, and. For Wolfie to, to go on and do something like this, this is just going to open the door for even more stuff. And then he's also recording this stuff at 5150. As far as I know, he's, he records everything over there. So I believe he did this at 5150 Studio since that's where he you know records everything. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited? 
this is going to be awesome. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this, guys. You know, like I said, the movie, the way that it was shot, the uh, some of the imagery that I've seen from it looks very uh, identical to, you know, those old school. You know, you if you grew up in the '80s or the '90s, those kind of old school Barbie play sets and all that stuff, and you remember the commercials and all that. So, so I'm looking forward to it, guys. Are you looking forward to it? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, take care and rock on.